While I was in Paris, of course, I had to go to the world-renowned historic home of the Paris opera, the Palais Garnier. Come with me. Everything about this place is dripping with history. Even the text on the front was changed for political reasons from the Imperial to the National Opera. Its name Garnier comes from the architect who designed this incredibly opulent space. Gaston Leroux's 1910 novel, The Phantom of the Opera, is actually based on this space, and so is the musical. The interior has four main spaces, the Grand Staircase, the Grand Foyer, the auditorium, and the library. Here you can see the Grand Foyer. Some people say that you're wasted going to Versailles. You should just come here instead. Countless artists worked on this building, but most prominently here in the Grand Foyer is Paul Baudry's rectangular panel of music and the oval panel of comedy at the West End. God, there's barely an inch of this place that isn't covered in something incredible to see. And speaking of wonderful artists that have worked here, there have been countless historic productions at the Paris Opera. They keep all these displays of fantastic costumes and set designs from previous productions. They have schematics of the Opera House itself. There's a whole library, in fact, run by the National Archive, which actually has 600,000 documents and an accompanying museum. There is so much more here than you could possibly put into a short video like this, but one of my favorite historic things around the Opera House are all the tributes to the artists. The composers, librettists, actually even dancers, singers, and choreographers as well. Some of the true greats of all time worked here. But then it was time to go into the famous auditorium with its chandelier. Actually, fun fact, that chandelier didn't fall, just a counterweight. LaRue played that up in his book. There's also a famous fresco commissioned in 1963 of Marc Chagall. It's distinctly different from the rest of the opera house. Here's a clean look at it. Well, that's all I could cram into two minutes from my day at the famous Palais Garnier in Paris, France. For more music and travel from a professional opera singer, follow here.